I'm Jacinta Rotigen, having a traditional folk tale. Title, The Magic Bone. Long, long time ago, there was a big forest called the Mau Forest. Inside the Mau Forest, there was a mountain called the Logoma Mountains. In the, mount, in the forest, they lived a witch doctor called Kagera and his daughter called Kawawa. And so Kagera knew the forest very well. He had a daughter called Kawawa, and he loved his daughter because he was the youngest of his children. Kawawa, one day, as his, as his usual thing, Kagera used to go to the forest and search for food for his lovely daughter. One day, as he bid goodbye to his daughter, he, he always leave his daughter in the Logomo Mountains so that his daughter can be safe and he can view him all the time. He went down the cliff looking for food for his daughter. So when Kagera went to look for food, Kawawa saw a, a lizard. He picked a stone and threw it at the lizard. But he, he did not hit the lizard, he missed it. And then the stone fell to the other side of the cliff and it fell on a, a ground where when, when it fell on the ground, the ground opened and there was a gigantic creature called Punyot living inside it. And when it was disturbed, it, he, he was angry and he raised up his eyes and saw who had disturbed him from his sleep. He saw Kawawa beside the cliff and he, he wanted to pick him with his long, long hand. But when Kagera down the valley saw what his daughter was doing or what the gigantic creature wanted to do, Kagera picked his magic bone and pointed it at his daughter. His daughter Kawawa turned into a stone. And when the gigantic creature called Punyo saw what Kagera had done, he wanted, he ran after Kagera. He ran and ran and ran. Kagera ran until he found a blocked, he found blocked trees where he could not pass through. So Kagera took his stone and changed himself into a liar bird. And when Kagera changed himself into a liar bird, he flew over the trees and he, he snaked away. But when he was turning himself, the bone fell off. And when the gigantic creature saw what Kagera had done, he, he went back to his sleep and slept. And Kagera came back, took his one, uh, Kagera came back and searched for his bone. He searched for his bone, but it was nowhere to be found. Now Kagera became the liar bird, and his daughter became the stone in the Mau forest. From this story, we learn the moral lesson that all forests are beautiful, but you cannot live inside it when you don't know all the flora and fauna inside the forest. And so the, us as the Oge, we live inside the forest because we are well informed and we all know all the floras and faunas in the forest. <laughs> Thank you.